we have covered the theory part of binomial distribution now we are dealing with some problems of the distribution okay so that i have written here the problems we solve it one by one then first question is the mean and variance of a binomial distribution of 16 and 8 we are given the mean as well as the variance okay so let us write x follows b and p you are given the mean and we know for binomial distribution mean equal to np variance equal to npq that is the given data okay uh, they are respectively 16 and 8 now we want to find the probability x equal to 0 and probability x greater than or equal to 2 in order to find the pdf that is f of x of binomial distribution we want to estimate the two parameters of the distribution these are respectively n and p we are given mean equal to 16 and variance equal to 8 we have mean equal to n p isn't it mean equal to n p equal to 16 and variance equal to npq equal to h so that by dividing 2 by 1 npq by np we get the value of q isn't it when q is obtained we get we can obtain p by 1 minus q that is equation 2 by equation 1 implies n p q by n p equal to eight by sixteen implies q equal to one by two. Okay. In, therefore, p equal to one minus q equal to one minus one by two equal to one by two. Okay. When p is obtained. By uh, substitute a p equal to one by two in equation one we get the value of n, isn't it? Therefore, one implies one implies okay n into one by two equal to sixteen implies n equal to sixteen into two equal to thirty two. That is n equal to thirty two and p equal to one by two. We have the result. That is x follows binomial n equal to thirty two and p equal to one by two. Therefore, f of x equal to thirty two c x into one by two raised to x. Into one by two raised to thirty two minus x x equal to zero one etc up to thirty two isn't it? We have given the mean and variance of binomial distribution so that we have the values of n and p so that we have f of x. Now from this f of x we can estimate the probabilities of binomial distribution. Okay. So probability x equal to zero. Now probability x equal to zero is what about x equal to zero? Thirty two c zero. This can be simplified as one by two raised to thirty two. Okay, thirty two c zero. We know it to be one. That is equal to one by two raised to thirty two. It is the answer. Probability x equal to zero. Now to find the second part, probability x greater than or equal to two. X greater than or equal to two means probability x equal to two plus x drop to probability x equal to thirty two. So that we can find. Uh, the probability by its complementary event that is we may write one minus probability what are the values x equal to zero plus probability x equal to one okay so equal to one minus one by two raised to thirty two as probability x equal to zero plus probability x equal to one as thirty two z one. 
into 1 by 2 raised to 32. Okay. That is 1 minus 1 by 2 raised to 32 into, into 1 plus 32. That is 1 minus 33 by 2 raised to 32. Okay. 1 minus 33 by 2 raised to 32. And we have the respective value as equal to 0 0.99 on simplification. Okay. 0 0.99. That is probability x greater than or equal to 2. Now the first problem is over. We consider the second one. What about the second one? We are given x follows binomial n equal to 6 and p. And we want to solve for p. You are given an equation. That is the equation is 9 into probability x equal to 4 equal to probability x equal to 2. We are given x follows binomial n equal to 6 and p. Okay. So that therefore f of x equal to 6 z x into p raised to x into q raised to q is 1 minus p. Okay. Raised to 6 minus 6. Okay. x equal to 0, 1, etc. up to 6. Up to 6. Now, uh, we are given 9 into probability, 9 into probability x equal to 4. 9 into probability x equal to 4 equal to probability x equal to 2. Which implies, what about which implies? Zig C 9 into probability x equal to 4. Zig C 4. Into P raised to 4. Into 1 minus P. We may write Q. Q raised to 2. Okay. 1 minus P instead of 1 minus P. We may write Q raised to 6 minus 6. That is 9 into 6 C4. P raised to 4 Q square. Equal to probability X equal to 2. What about Zig Z2 into P square into Q raised to 4. Now what happens? That is we know Zig Z4 equal to Zig Z2. Okay. NZR equal to NZ N minus R. That is these terms cancels. And P raised to we can cancel the common terms. That is 9 P square equal to we get Q raised to 2. Okay. Q square cancels. So the remaining factor is Q raised to 2, that is we may write 1 minus P whole square. We are substituting Q equal to 1 minus P. So that, that is we get 9 P square equal to 1 minus 2 P plus P square on expansion. That is we get 9 P square minus P square 8 P square. 8p square plus 2p minus 1 equal to 0 as a quadratic equation in p. Solving these equations, we get the values of p. There are two roots for p. We can write this as 9p8p square plus 2p minus 1 equal to 0. That is, we get p as equal to Minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a. Okay. That is p equal to minus 2 plus or minus root of b square. That is 4. Minus 4ac 4 into 8 into minus 1 by 2 into h. That is we get minus 2 plus or minus minus 2 plus or minus root of 32 plus 4, 36 by 16. That is plus 6, that is minus 2 plus 4. Minus 2 plus 6 is 4. 
एंड नेगेटिव वैल्यू माइनस टू माइनस सिक्स इज माइनस सिक्स बाई सिक्सटीन दैट इज एस पी के नॉट बी नेगेटिव जिम्स पी के नॉट बी नेगेटिव वी ऑप्टेन वी हैव पी इक्वल टू फोर बाई सिक्सटीन दैट इज इक्वल टू वन बाय फोर ओके सिंपली वी वॉन्ट टू ऑप्टेन द वैल्यू ऑफ पे एंड एज देर आर टू रूट एंड वन एमंग द मिल्स नेगेटिव वी हैव द अदर वैल्यू ऑफ पे इक्वल टू वन बाय फोर ओके सो दैट टू इज ऑवर नाउ वी हैव द थर्ड क्वेश्चन राइट डाउन द पी डी एफ ऑफ द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फोर विच यम टी एक्स पॉइंट फोर ई रेस टू टी प्लस पॉइंट सिक्स होल रेस टू एट ह्योर वी एप्लॉय द यूनिकनेस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द एम जी एफ दैट इज फॉर बायनॉमियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन द एम जी एफ क्यू प्लस पी ई रेस टू टी होल रेस टू एन इज इन दैट दिस इज ऑफ द फॉर्म क्यू प्लस पी ई रेस टू टी होल रेस टू एन so with the standard form we compare and we get this as the result as question number 3 we are given the mtx as equal to 0.4 e raised to t plus 0.6 whole raised to 8 which is of the form which is of the form simple question which is of the form q plus P e raised to t whole raised to n is that? Hence, by the uniqueness property of M G F, okay, by the uniqueness property M G F, we get we get x follows binomial with n equal to eight, is that? And q plus p e raised to t. So p is point four. P is zero point four. And q and hence q equal to point six. Okay. Therefore, f of x equal to a c x into p raised to x. That is n c x into p raised to x into q raised to n minus x implies a z x into what about zero point four raised to x into zero point six raised to eight minus x isn't it x equal to zero one etc up to eight okay. Zero one x zero up to eight f of x n c s p raised to x q raised to n minus x by the uniqueness property of m g f we have this distribution of x as binomial with the n equal to eight p equal to zero point four. Now we want the other part. The other part. The question is find the m g f of y equal to three x plus two. We are given this as the MGF of x, and we want to obtain the MGF of y equal to three x plus two. Okay, so then we solve the other part. We have the result y equal to three x plus two, and we have to obtain the moment generating function of this y. This y equal to three x plus two m plus we have yam t y is simply expectation of e raised to t y so equal to expectation of e raised to t into three x plus two which can be written as e raised to two t into expectation of e raised to three t into x okay. So that that is m t y equal to e raised to two t into m three t x. Okay. So on simplification, we have to re replace t by three t in this m t x. It is enough. So that e raised to two t into what happens? Zero point four e raised to three t 
plus 0 0.6 whole raised to 8. This is the answer. E raised to 2 10 to 0 0.4 E raised to 3 10 plus 0 0.6 whole raised to H. Okay. Now we uh, we obtain the solution for the next one. What is the problem? Five unbiased dice are thrown. Okay, five unbiased dice are thrown. Find the probability of uh, at most two of them will show six. So that we, uh, we are tossing five unbiased dice simultaneously so that we know when we consider an unbiased die probability of getting any phase equal to 1 by 6. Here we consider getting a number 6 okay number 6 once so that it is equal to the probability p equal to 1 by 6 we we can take okay that is we consider n equal to question number 4, 5, 1 by R's dice are thrown. That is n equal to 6, well, sorry, 5. And P, probability of a success. Okay, for binomial, P is the probability of a success. Equal to probability of getting a 6 for an unbiased dice. That is equal to probability of getting a 6. Of an unbiased die equal to 1 by 6. Okay. Equal to 1 by 6. Therefore, Q equal to 1 minus P equal to 1 minus 1 by 6 equal to 5 by 6. Okay. Therefore, X follows binomial N equal to 5 P equal to 1 by 6 implies f of x equal to 5cx into 1 by 6 raised to x into 5 by 6 raised to 5 minus 6. x takes values 0, 1, x, zero, up to 5, isn't it? Okay. Now, we want to obtain the probability at most 2 will show 6. What about at most 2? At most 2 means maximum 2. That is, we want to find the probability. Required probability is probability. Simply, we have to obtain x less than or equal to 2. Okay, that is equal to probability x equal to 0 plus probability x equal to 1 plus probability x equal to 2. Probability x equal to 0 plus probability x equal to 1 plus probability x equal to 2. Now, we substitute this values of x in this equation, in this f of x. Okay, so that we obtain... What about probability x equal to 0? It is 5z0 into 5 by 6 raised to 5. That is, this is equal to 5 by 6 raised to 5. Okay, q raised to n, we have the answer. Plus, what about probability x equal to 1? 5z1 into 1 by 6 into 5 by 6 raised to 4. Okay. Plus probability x equal to 2 is 5c2 into 1 by 6 square into 5 by 6 raised to 3. Okay. And on simplification we get it as 0 .0, 0 0.96. Okay. You may check. Okay. So four questions are answered here. Okay. Yes, thank you.